So this is the part where I drag the video out for 10 minutes before explaining the point that I want to make, but instead I'm just going to go ahead and say it. The two most detrimental things survivors can do is to open the exit gates early and then leave the game early. We're going to start by talking about why opening the exit gates early is so bad. For most of the time in Dead by Daylight, the game could theoretically go on forever. In reality, that's not very possible because of things like power outages or servers going down, but in theory, if all the generators haven't been completed or the gates have not been opened, the game could literally last forever. The killer could never kill the survivors, the survivors could never do generators or the gate, and you have an infinite amount of time to take care of the things you need to take care of as survivor. You have an infinite amount of time to heal, infinite amount of time to, to do anything. But the moment that the gate is activated, you have a maximum of four minutes to leave the game before you instantaneously die. And as you can tell, having limited amount of time in video games to complete tasks is detrimental to completing said task. The moment somebody opens an exit gate and that timer starts, everything you do is limited. Oh, well, you want to heal, well, there's a time limit on that. And when there is that time limit, players will play worse, there will be problems, and any mistakes could be catastrophic. Now how to deal with this situation is called 99ing the gates. And what you do is you go to an exit gate, you charge it up until it's like 99% charged, and then you don't open the exit gate. And what that means is you can do whatever you need to do. You can go for saves, you can be chased, you can do whatever you need to do, heal up, and then when everybody's in a safe situation to escape, you tap the exit gate, it opens instantly, and then you guys can leave, and you can ignore the timer. But the other option I said earlier is even worse and more detrimental than this, which is to leave the game early, whether that's via a key while you still have survivors in the match, or by running through the exit gates. Once you play enough Dead by Daylight, you realize that survivors, you and your three teammates, are resources. Every survivor that is up is another survivor that could be doing gens, could be healing, could be doing totems, could be doing a number of different things. And for every less player you have that is actively doing those things, you are in that much worse of a situation. So let's say, you know, one person's being chased and then two people are injured, um, the gate was opened, and the two people that are injured are healing each other, and the fourth person just runs out the door you are in such a worse situation now. That means it's gonna take you guys longer to heal. That means that the person could go down that's in the chase and then you only have two people to go for the save. That means so many different things. And that is one less resource that is being used. By far the most detrimental thing that you hate to see as a survivor is your teammate just running through an exit gate early and leaving when there's still like a minute and a half, two minutes left on the timer. Now here's the thing. While these two are very negative things in the game, I think the fact that they exist is fantastic because it really plays into this mindset that the three people you're playing with truly aren't your teammates. Sure, you can 99 the gate and then go for the save, right? But in all reality, that puts you at risk of possibly dying as well. You could just leave. You could just walk out the gate and you could live to fight another day and that would be completely reasonable. Yeah, you could try to go for the save on the person, or you could try to finish the last generator, but instead you could just use a key, screw your team over and escape, or just run through the open exit gate and guarantee that you live. Dead by Daylight is usually seen as a 1v4 game, but in reality, Dead by Daylight is more of a 1v1v1v1v1 game. And honestly, this is more my opinion, but I think it's okay that there are mechanics centered around that. Because at the end of the day, this game isn't meant to be a serious competitive game. It's a more casual oriented game. It's not like CSGO. It's not like a lot of different other games that are made to be super competitive. This is just like a scary Mario Party. And the fact that you can choose to be a solo oriented player versus a team oriented player is really what gives this game life. Now, what do you guys think? Do you think that the game should have all mechanics centered around 1v4? gameplay or do you think it's okay that there are more selfish mechanics like keys like escaping early like opening the gate let me know your guys thoughts below because not only do i want to hear what you have to say but this also helps boost the video and the algorithm which you know thank you thank you very much that helps a lot 
But anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Uh, this is Drift, and I'm out of here.